Hello and thank you for tuning in. My name is Shaden and in this video we'll look at the PayPal module by GMDev which is very useful if you really just want to have your users pay for something without having to set up a whole shopping cart if I may on your website. So my assumption is that you have the module installed and you know how to use Joomla, you have set it up, and I'm going to show you how to really configure it in a basic way to start using it immediately. You should, by the end of this video, you should be able to set up this module on your website and sell using PayPal. All right, so let's look at some basic options. This is your PayPal email. This is your currency. So, and, and this is the email address associated with your PayPal uh, account. You at paypal.com, right? Or you at your website.com. Whatever that may be, you want to make sure that uh, this is not your email address where you want to receive notifications or anything, but your PayPal email address. Uh, this is your currency. This is the payment type. Now with PayPal, there are three types of payments you can do. There's a simple checkout where the user is really just trying to pay you. There's a donation where the user is trying to donate some money. And there's a subscription where you're trying to sell a subscription for a period of time. So let's say there's a newsletter you say, or if there's a service where the user is going to pay monthly, the subscription is very useful there. So let's set up the checkout one, the default one. And what we'll do is we'll sell, um, we'll sell, let's say, we'll just sell Joomla template, right? Or we'll, we'll just sell a Joomla module. How about that? For $99.95. And no shipping, no taxes, right? And I'm going to reload. And if I click buy with PayPal, You'll notice that I'm sent here, Joomla module 99.95 quantity one. And that's the email address the payment will be made to. Now, you can obviously add shipping. You can add taxes, whether that be in a percentage or a fixed. Now, the second thing you can do is you can add a donation type button. And that can be whether the user should be putting the amount or the user should be making a fixed amount donation. So let's do an optional one where the user can donate whatever they like. And if I click, it opens up a new tab and you can see it says, you know, make a donation. Now it does give me an option to make it monthly here automatically. So I can do that. But in any event, I can just say, I wanna pay $9 every month, right? And I can just make this donation. Or I can say I want to do a subscription. So the subscription is I want to do a weekly newsletter for $21.95 and it should be every week. So let me save that. Now when I click, oh, I think I have to reload. Yeah, so when I reload and click this, it's probably going to ask me for a login, which PayPal does. Uh, so I'm going to open up this different tab, which I had opened before. So this shows uh, $29.95 uh, for each week and starts today, right? And that's how it's going to show up. And, you know, you can change the billing interval to be daily, to be monthly, yearly, or custom. So you can say once every three months, if it's a quarterly thing, four months, or you can say once every you know four years if you want to do a leap year thing or you can say once every 19 days whatever floats your boat right but but this should get you pretty flexible on a recurring subscription and then you can say you know if uh, this is going to be auto renewed or no by default it should be yes where uh, the subscriptions are auto renewed and that's pretty much it for this thing. That's pretty much it for the, uh, you know, the basic settings. Now, the last option here is the thank you URL is where you want the user to go 
once they're done making the payment. So this might be a thank you page on your website or something. You just want to drop that URL. Now let's look at the settings to style the button. There are a few settings here and by default it does not look like this. It looks a little different. So here is the text for the button. You can put in buy now or whatever. I'm going to make the button smaller. I'm going to remove the PayPal and the credit card icons just to show what it looks like. So this is what the button looks like by default if you don't add all these options, which I had before I started making this video. So now I can say I want a large button, I want the PayPal text, and I want the Visa and MasterCard logo. Right? And I can say I want these, you know, icons to be 200 pixels wide, so they're a little larger. Right, um, 200 might be a stretch, it's a little too much. So how about 50 pixels, right? And since these are SVGs, they're gonna look perfect no matter how bigger I make them. And I can say, I don't actually want this text, so I can just put a space in here and I want the PayPal icon too, right? So this looks really good, right? And for the PayPal icon, I can say, I don't want the white icon, I just want the original PayPal, the blue icon, right? Now the blue doesn't look that good on white, so let's change our background color of the button to white and the hover, the mouse over to, uh, we can say more of a creamish color, uh, something like this. I don't know how good this is going to look, but whatever, let's see. So the mouse over will just be the opposite, right? So you can see this looks good, right? Mm. Or we can say, you know, normal looks like this and, you know, the mouse over looks a little like this, right? So, you know, it's not white where the it's not visible, but it's just a different color. Oh, oh, background hover. Oh, it's supposed to be here. Okay. So let's refresh. And, you know, that looks good, right? That's pretty distinguishable. And then I can add two more card buttons if I want to. One limitation with the button is they're gonna all appear on the same line, right? So it's not like if the button is smaller, they're gonna wrap around. So for that, you can make the button um, alignment block, which means it'll go all the way from left to left, right? And it's pretty big. So at that point, I can just say, you know, I want these icons to be 125 where the height will increase to, and now it's pretty obvious that the user is supposed to make a payment here, right? And then you have the spacing between the icons, so you can say 25 pixels of space between each icons, oh, sorry, uh, the spacing between the icons and the text in the button, where, which should be none because we're not using the text. Now bear with me if I'm moving a little too fast because in some of the videos someone told me to move slowly and I just keep forgetting that. So I'm going to try to remember that uh, as, as we continue the rest of this video. And uh, well there isn't much left. That's pretty much it. And that's it. So th there's additional options. This is advanced if you want to do sandbox and if you have some custom messaging or if you want the button to not open in a new tab, which is it's doing right now. So at this point, if I say don't open in a new tab and I click pay now, PayPal, it'll just go directly to PayPal and not open up in a new tab. So that's another option. But really, if you want to start using it, you can just do basic configuration. And if you want to style it a little bit, you can do the button and that's it. That's how you use PayPal without actually adding a shopping cart to your website. Plain, simple way to accept payments using your Joomla website. Thanks for tuning in. Goodbye.